In the previous lectures, we have discussed sensitivity of control system. Now in this presentation, we are going to take one example based on sensitivity of control system. So let's get started. Consider the closed loop system given below. This closed loop system is given to us in which RS is the reference input, CS is the controlled output, GS is the forward path gain and GS is equal to 100, which is given in the example and HS is the feedback path gain and HS is equal to 0.1. Now the question is, if the percentage increase in GS, that is in the forward path gain is 10%, then find the percentage change in overall transfer function. Now here we can see that the input of the system is constant, but one of the parameters of the system is changing. And we are asked to find out the percentage change in overall transfer function, that is the overall change in the system. So here we will use the concept of sensitivity to find out the percentage change in overall transfer function. So moving on to the solution, the change in G given in the example is the increase by 10% and we are asked to find out the percentage change in overall transfer function. For that sake, firstly we will find out the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to gain and it is equal to 1 over 1 plus GH. We have derived the expression in the previous lecture. We are given the values of G and H in the example. So if we put these values, we will have 1 over 1 plus 100 multiplied with 0.1. The value of G is 100 and the value of H is 0.1. Solving this, we will get the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to gain equal to 1 over 11. Now we know that the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to gain is equal to percentage change in T over percentage change in G. This is the basic definition of STG and it is equal to 1 over 11. Now we are given the percentage change in G which is 10% and we are asked to find out the percentage change in T. So we will have percentage change in T over 10 and it is equal to 1 over 11. Now if we transpose 10 to the right hand side we will have the percentage change in T equal to 10 by 11% which is equal to 0.909%. So we have calculated the percentage change in overall transfer function, which is 0.909%. By this example, we can see here, if the change in forward path parameter is 10%, which is a very high value, then also the overall change is less than 1%. This is one of the advantages of using negative feedback. Moreover, we have taken the percentage change in GS as positive because it was given that there is an increase in GS. On the other hand, if it was given that there is a decrease in GS, then we would have taken this quantity as negative. I will give you that case as a homework problem. So now we are done with this lecture. Solve these questions on your own and when you get the answer, post them in the comment section. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this one here. See you in the next lecture.